For the Origami Clover art project, the materials that you are going to need are construction paper, I chose green, a circle to trace, a pair of scissors, some glue, a normal just Elmer's glue stick works fine, um, and then a pencil. Um, before you start this project, this is a more difficult project, so maybe you could see if um, an older sibling or parent, grandparent, aunt, uncle would want to help you with this, all right? Or you can try it on your own, of course. Um, so first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your construction paper, you're gonna lay it down, and you're gonna take your circle object that you found and you are tracing it three times. You're then gonna draw a little rectangle, um, and I use the side of my paper um, to just uh, have that be the other edge. And then you're taking your scissors and you're cutting out all three circles and that little rectangle. Um, when you do pick your circle object, um, you want it to be a little bit on the bigger size or about what I had, which was like a roll of tape. Um, anything smaller is going to be too difficult. So next you're going to take your circle and you're going to fold it in half. And then on each of those halves, you are going to start to fold it back and forth like a paper fan. You want it to be tiny little folds um, and they should be about the same size. Um, on both sides. Then you're going to pinch it together and fold it in the middle, so in half again, and these are creating the leaves for your clover. You're then going to take your glue stick and you are going to rub in the middle where they are going to touch and connect. I have my video in fast forward, but I counted to about 30 to 60 seconds just so that I made sure that these were really going to stay together. It's really important that they really stick together. You're going to repeat this process two more times with your circles um, and just try your best, like I said before, to get your folds about the same. And then you fold it in half again. Really don't be afraid to put a lot of glue. Um, I, like you can see, I'm using just a regular glue stick. If you do have an adult or somebody helping you um, and you happen to have a hot glue gun, that would probably be the best option for this, um, but that's not something that everybody has at home, so we're just doing it with normal glue. But that's why you need to hold it a little bit longer than normal um, because we really want to make sure that our leaves for our clover are not going to separate. All right, um, so I have all three. I'm just pinching them together, so I'm making sure that they are really going to get that glue stuck to each other. Um, and like I said, I hold it for a really long time. Next, we're going to take that rectangle and we are going to, again, fold it like a paper fan. Um, this is going to create the stem and this is where it gets really tricky. So uh, you can see here, I'm just kind of opening up my leaves a little bit, but still making sure that the glue is stuck together. Um, and we need to take our glue and now glue our leaves of our clover together. This is the part that I had the most challenge with and that's why I suggest that if you have an older sibling or an adult, to help you um, just because it could be a little bit frustrating um, because the glue takes a while to set so it might kind of separate but so you are gluing all three of your um, leaf papers together um, and you should start to see the cl clover form you're going to take your stem you need to put glue on both sides only at the top part that you're going to connect um, and you need to try and hold um, it together on your clover and this is where things can start kind of separating if the glue hasn't really set yet. Um, if you wanted to, you could have all the leaves kind of stay together um, and let them sit and dry and then come back later and add your stem. Um, well, it's in really slow motion right now. Um, but at the end, um, I just kind of let mine sit and it, it let it dry and it stayed together perfectly fine. So, um, like I said, this is more of a challenging art project, but I would love to see if anyone is able to accomplish this one. Um, and then I think it'd be pretty fun if you made a bunch of them in, with different color construction paper. Let me know how it goes. Um, and again, send me a picture so I can share it with the school. All right. Bye.